But we are running Quen 2.5 14B through Olama right now on the Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig. The 16 gigabyte variant of the Raspberry Pi 5 has been newly announced and released, and it does now seem like it is accessible for folks like myself to be able to go to their local micro center and grab one, which is what I did previously. <laughs> but it does seem like a pretty cool device. Now it is just a 16 gigabyte version of the Pi 5. So the existing Pi 5, I do believe is a four gig and eight gigabyte variant, which you are likely pretty familiar with at this point. Being that I am very interested in AI and in specific AI that can be hosted locally, I want to just test some larger models on this. Now I have a Pi 5 eight gigabyte right here that I have tested some local LLM things on and performance wise is truly not the best. So speed differential, I wouldn't really expect there to be much difference between the two of these because it is kind of the same thing except this one has 16 gigabytes of RAM where this one has eight. Now in the local LLM world where that actually goes ahead and makes a difference is in the actual size of model you can run. So I am hoping that today we can go ahead and run some larger models that were not previously possible to run on a Raspberry Pi thanks to the 16 gigabytes of beefy RAM in this <laughs> Pi 5. Now before we get into it there is something I would like to do and that is just a really in-depth and thorough unboxing. So if you'll just join me right here we can see that we have now gone ahead and unboxed our Pi 5 because <laughs> they don't oh wow this one doesn't even come with any paperwork in it all right well it does appear that the box is now you know I'm going to say I know this is totally off topic but this is really quite an efficient utilization of the box because they've actually put the things here that likely may have come on a paper pamphlet or something like that in the past so I have to say I am quite quite impressed with that and we can now, of course, get our first look at the Pi 5 16 gigabyte board. And it is actually labeled here right by the GPIO header with the nice 16 gig. Other than that, if you are interested in more of the, I suppose, general tech specs of this device, just based off of really a quick visual um, overview, it does appear to be pretty much identical to the 8 gigabyte version in terms of the actual I.O. and things of that sort. So we're not really going to do like a... A review of the device we're basically just going to plug it in and get right to running olama on it which i have been excited to do so let's hop into it so we're basically just going to jump right into this i'm on the olama website and as this is more of just a demonstration and not a tutorial i'm not really going to outline the steps to actually get this all set up and running but it is rather simple so i will just go here and run this command and i don't know that this has all right perfect so we'll let Olama install. And then I really would like to try Llama 3.2 11B Vision. I'm not quite sure if that will run on the eight gig model or not. I will actually test that just to see. However, I'm just gonna jump in and run Quen 2.5 14B as running a 14 billion parameter model at a four bit quant on a Raspberry Pi would be rather interesting, I think. Just as a quick side note, if you see this microphone moving around sporadically within the video, I'm having a bit of trouble with my microphone boom, so that's just, that's why I'm having to uh, move it too often. So Olama has almost completed downloading and installing, and being that it is now pretty much all set, I'm just going to go ahead and pull Quen 2.5 14B, which should take a little bit of time it is a nine gigabyte download. However, once this is done, we'll just go ahead and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so we are running Quen 2.5 14B through Olama right now on the Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig. <laughs> As we can see, it is rather slow. It is definitely rather slow. However, this was kind of expected. Obviously, Raspberry Pis are not really known for LLM performance. This is more just a exploration and kind of exploration of whether or not it could actually do it and it can so I am running this with the verbose flag which of course upon the conclusion of however long this response actually ends up being we will be able to see our tokens per second um, based off of this I think we're probably going to be at like 0.5 tokens per second but it is running 
Quen 2.5 14B, which really is quite cool and something that the previous Raspberry Pi 5 8 gig would not have been able to do. So from a technical standpoint, this is, I suppose, a new frontier of actually being able to run a model of this size of this quantization, the default quantization for Quen 2.5 14B, which um, I think is Q4KM. Okay, so it is a, um, a Q4KM quantization of Quen 2.5 14B, which is kind of cool. I did also go ahead and download the 0.5B, which obviously would run on like pretty much anything. So once this concludes, we will basically just go ahead and analyze our tokens per second, which, like I said, I do believe is probably somewhere around 0.5. It is quite hot, just uh, in case you were, like myself, curious about the amount of heat being produced by this CPU right now. It is a lot. I do have some active cooler for this, but I think it's designed for the Pi 4. However, I may be able to kind of go ahead and mangle something together, which could be cool. All right. Unfortunately, my guess was off. As we can see that, we got 0.67 tokens per second. The total time for this to actually generate all of this was 9 minutes and 40 seconds. However, of course, we knew it was going to be slow, so I'm not going to make this video and just be like, Haha, look how slow the Raspberry Pi is. No, this was just kind of to see what it's capable of, and it is kind of cool to be able to run the 14 billion or 14 billion parameter Quen 2.5 here. Now, I am going to go ahead and probably not ask this something again as... Um, it would just perhaps be time to make a video on the Raspberry Pi 6 by the time the response concluded, but no, I'm just kidding. I am actually going to try now Llama 3.2 Vision 11B. So I just do Olama pull, not pull, Olama run, Llama 3.2. I actually have it on there because I just downloaded on that for some um, agentic stuff. So I have it right here. And that will go ahead and pull the default model. Now, I did notice somebody on the Olama GitHub repository actually posted, I won't say a cryptic issue, but they just said Raspberry Pi 5 downloads are resetting. I actually found that because that was happening to me as well when I was going to try to download Quen 2.5 14B is basically the download progress bar would get to say like seven, 800 megabytes out of however many gigabytes it's going to download. And then it would just go back to 0% and it was almost in a download loop. Now, I'm not quite sure why that happened, but it, I, I can understand and sympathize with that individual who posted that issue because unless you were specifically dealing with that, you'll just feel like you're going crazy reading that and seeing. So I actually noticed that as well, and basically the way I mitigated that, because it kept happening when I was trying to download a larger model, is I would just do control C keyboard interrupt, which would kind of save the specific downloaded state, and then I would just go ahead and run it again. And I was fortunate that I was able to do that to get the full Quen 2.5 14B downloaded. So I was basically just stopping it like every 10% of the download and then going back. So I do not know why that was happening, but um, someone did respond and say you should check the server logs if that does happen to you. So I did quickly just want to point that out as if you are in my shoes and you're actually wanting to play with a new Pi 5, 16 gig or whatever with Olama and you find that happening, you may want to like tear your hair out out of confusion. So we will hopefully see this conclude and then once 3.2 Visions downloaded, we'll just kind of go ahead and interact with it. We are now going to test Llama 3.2 11B Vision. I have downloaded a photograph of the, I think, Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art in New York or something like that from Wikipedia. And I have capped the maximum tokens of this reply at 10 so that it is relatively quick. As I did test this on my other machine right here with the same model, same image, and same prompt, and it generated a very lengthy response which would just be kind of time prohibitive. And as we can see right here, the image depicts the exterior of the Metropolitan Museum of, and then it stops because I did cap this at 10 tokens um, response. So we can quickly see here that in order to actually do this, I am just using the Olama Python package. And if you go to olama.com, in specific the Llama 3.2 Vision repository, which is where the model information 
pertaining to 3.2 vision is hosted for Olama. We can see just a simple demonstration use for this. So essentially all I've done is basically use that same kind of demo script, except instead of just as it is, I did. So I just added the image path as a static path to where the image was on this Raspberry Pi, which was on my desktop. And then following that, I have used this options here to actually go ahead and cap the number of tokens. So I think I am going to maybe, let's up this to like 45, I suppose, and then we can go ahead and run this again. And obviously it will take a little bit more time, but I have to say it's speed wise is really not horrible um, doing this, at least with the 10 token response speed. I may eat my words in a second if we <laughs> see it takes too long for 45 tokens, but it is just cool to be able to run Llama 3.2 Vision on this Raspberry Pi. And it was, I mean, you could see there, it's it's the same model as like what I'm running right here. So the model's output is obviously more dependent upon the model itself as opposed to the hardware it's running on. But just being able to run it on this hardware, I think is pretty cool. So we'll give it some time here, see if it does a decent job in its response. Very cool. And we can see this image shows the exterior of the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Met and its courtyard. The Met is located on 5th Ave between 82nd Street and 84th Street. I don't know if that's true, I would assume. New York City, blah, blah, blah. So really kind of cool and honestly not so bad. This is giving me some ideas, um, specifically like the Autogen Magentic One fork that I had played with a little bit. May actually be able to run on this like kind of crappily, but it would be kind of interesting to actually be able to use this as a self-contained little agent, if you will, even with a smaller vision model, if there are any decent ones. Um, now, so what I'm going to do now is just run this so that we can basically just get our token speed. However, I see that I have neglected to run it with the verbose flag, which you put right after run, so two dashes and then verbose space and then we'll say okay tell me about the Met in NYC which obviously is the Metropolitan Museum of Art and we can see token speed is probably apparently I'm really bad at guessing token speed but based off this I'd have to say 1.83 <laughs> tokens per second. Well, I do believe this is wrapping up its summary on the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, and it was a rather in-depth summary, I will say. And we can now see, okay, so it was 1.2 tokens per second, and the total duration here was a little over 10 minutes. So, obviously, as expected, speed is really not the benefit, or you know what I mean. S sorry, I'm like lagging just from watching it. Speed is obviously not the strong point, but just the exploration of the ability to actually run some larger models here on the Pi is, I think, very cool and something I am excited about. Uh, jump from 8 gigs of RAM to 16 is definitely significant and something that um, took Apple long enough to do on some of their base computers, so not to throw too much shade, but now, the only other thing that I really want to do is just go ahead and actually see if this will run at all the Llama 3.211B Vision on the 8GB Pi 5. I'm relatively certain that it won't. However, being that all I need to do is just swap the SD card over so I can just test it real quick. I figure why not? Since I have them, I might as well use them to the fullest of my abilities. It is cool that they have the power buttons now on the Pi 5. That's something I kind of, I mean, it's tiny, but it's, you know, it's nice to have. Nice quality of life thing, I suppose. And I have to be careful because this board is just so incredibly hot. I do have to wonder if not having a cooler on this is going to affect performance to a significant degree. I'm not really very, um, I suppose you could say versed in the actual like fundamental architecture and um, 
design of the Raspberry Pi. So I don't know. I would assume it would throttle itself if it gets too hot, as pretty much probably any modern electronic device would. However, it is something to perhaps look at as well. Yep. Oh, cool. And it just gives me an error right there, which is cool and something I would not have seen just running this on the 16 gig variant, where the model requires more system memory than is available, 11 and a half gig. I would like to see now if I were to actually do that for Quen as well, I would like to see how much memory it says that needs, because that's actually kind of useful to know. It's oftentimes, maybe not with running on Pis, but um, how much space an LLM will take on your system in terms of like VRAM requirements is definitely a common question amongst um, local LLM um, folks such as myself, things of that sort. So I will just do... Okay, and it's saying Quen 2.5 14B requires 10.7 gigabytes of system memory. And Llama 3.2 Vision 11B requires 11.5 up here. So we can see that the Pi 5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM made it possible to actually run these two models, whereas the Pi 5 8 gigabyte um, simply couldn't. So that is really quite cool. Again, performance was not going to be the main draw of today's video. However, it was just kind of like, will it fit? <laughs> I suppose you could say. So um, obviously the SPCs and stuff are interesting and not ideal for LLMs. There is obviously, of course, the very now popular Jetson or a Nano Super, which speed wise would absolutely destroy the two of these. However, this Pi 5 16 gig does have more RAM than the eight gigs of the Jetson or a Nano. So that is also kind of interesting. But I suppose that's really going to conclude it. And of course, there is um, notable mention the Orange Pi boards as well, which have NPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM available as well. I have one of those actually over on my table. I just didn't feel like testing it against this head to head today, but that is perhaps something I can do an updated head to head test of a 16 gig Pi 5 versus a 16 gig Orange Pi um, 5B. So, that's really going to conclude this, just kind of a more casual and impromptu video. I honestly didn't even know Micro Center was going to get these in today, so I kind of just went and got one when I saw that they had some in stock, and it's pretty cool. So I'm happy to have this. This is something that obviously I did not purchase just to test LLMs on. I have a few fun use cases in mind, maybe not for the channel, but just that having a couple of pies around is always, you know, a, a good choice, I suppose you could say. Well... That's going to conclude it, and I hope this was um, educational. <laughs>